having me. Thank you for having me. I hope you're well, sir. I'm good, by it's great. Great. Uh, it is nice to have you on the line. Yesterday, you uh, spoke to some members of the press on a trend that you were seeing when it comes to the transfer of names. Exactly what was your concern? What what had you seen? Well, thank you very much. Um, you know, the EC is currently exhibiting the voters' register. So registered voters are expected to turn out at their voting centers to confirm their names, and if there are some errors, they apply for the error to be rectified before the election itself. Now, in the Tamale South and Sanarugu constituency, people turn out to check their names in the register, only to be told that they had transferred their votes to Pusiga in the uh, Upper East region, when in fact those people don't even know their way to Bulga not to talk about uh, uh, traveling all the way to the border town of Pushiga. From so Tamale think, South and Sanyarugu to... Sanyarugu in, ta in Tamale municipality, the greater Tamale municipality. To yes. Pushiga? To Pushiga, yes, in the Upper East region. No, it started with just two people. So we thought this was uh, maybe some anomaly. Then... In two days, it increased to about 26. On the third day, we had up to about 32. So we're alarmed. We had reported this to the regional EC director. He was insistent that uh, the systems are such that if the fellow actually has not appeared there, there's no way to be that. We challenge it to it. That is supposed to be the procedure. But if the officers of the EC deliberately want to move people's data, it can easily be done. So those people are here. They didn't travel. They can tell you on their honor. So we set out to investigate this on ourselves. Then we realized that two of our illiterate brothers had been lured by a certain teacher called Lukman Alassan to collect these voter ID cards for him under the pretext of getting them support from an Arab philanthropist. So they surrendered this ID card to the Lukman guy. For over a month, they, they, they continued to pursue him for the ID card before he returned the cards to them. Being illiterate, they didn't, they didn't know that this card had, cards have actually been transferred. So when they gave us the details, we called the gentleman concerned realizing that this was something that was already circulating in the media. And the two guys that were here already called him that the cards he collected had been transferred. So he decided not to respond to our calls. We had to set out a team to hunt for him in the metropolis. Lo and behold, uh, 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 on the 9th of Sunday at about 11 p.m., we tracked him to his residence, and when he arrived, and the citizens supported the police to get him arrested. And he's currently in the police grips as we speak. Um, we, we had to call the press conference to put the facts to the world and to question the EC because these systems operate in such a way that nobody interacts with such system without the fellow having an identity. This is why the OTP system is generated as a federal security system. So before anybody is allowed to execute transfers, the fellow would have been given a code. The details of the receiver of the code is known. So we are saying that who executed this transfer? Now, that fellow must produce evidence that the people appeared in Pusiga at the EC office, and their details were taken, and the appropriate actions followed. They should produce forms that these people signed individually. Okay, for the transfers to have been done. Because there's no way 32 people can all be claiming that none of them travel. At least one of them should be able to tell you that it's true who oh, we were taken to Pusiga. Nothing of the sort happened. So that's what uh, we are currently pushing for the EC answer. In fact, the Electoral Commission uh, asked yesterday in the evening, we had a meeting with them on this matter. Uh, they've asked that we, we let all the affected persons appear for them to interview them on their own 
and to see the way forward regarding this uh, particular issue. Uh, okay. Now, having said that, so these issues you want the EC to address, but first of all, the um, ID cards, do you know the total number of ID cards that were collected for this gentleman? In our possession is 32 confirmed ID cards, but we have reason to believe that that's not the totality of the card, because you know people's response to exhibition is low. So we are now urging people to take advantage of the last day, which is today, to get out there and be able to verify whether uh, they are victims to such a ploy or not. Okay, so people have really not expressed an interest in going to check. So you are just saying that it's just possible that there are many more people who have been transferred to Pussyga. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. I see. Because of that, we have taxed our contracts with and branch executives to use the short code provided by the NDC to run through people's IDs and confirm if they are victims, then they report, report such cases to us. Wow. The, the short code. So you're asking them to look through the register that is available to you? The copy of the register that is okay. available to us. Get people's ID. When people come to check with our register, you know, if they are, if they are details have been transferred, it won't be in the new register. So you will, you will then use the code to check and know where they have been transferred to. See, and you've been doing the that so far. The part of it is that these victims, when you get to the vote the registration center that they belong in, you know when people's votes are transferred, their list is supposed to be in the absentee voters list. Now, when you go to the absentee voters list of the polling station, what you get there is zero 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 zero. You don't get their details, and that also points to the fact that it was deliberately done. Wow, so there's nothing on the absentee vote that tells these people that your votes have been transferred? No, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. But you have 32 uh, ID cards, uh, you have 32 people who have gone through this. Um, yes. What has happened to them? What I'm saying is that those 32 people, we have, in our meeting with the EC, we are required to take them to the EC this morning for the EC to take their own questioning rather than take our word, they want to be able to interview them themselves and convince themselves that what we are claiming is true. The police have equally asked that they should come and write their statements. And then the investigation will continue. Hmm. Well, we'll be following up to see what you get out of this task you have given exactly. to um, exactly. your, your, your executives. But thank you. Thank you very much for clarifying thank this you. for us. Yeah. I'm grateful. Uh, Mohamed Abdul Salam is Northern Regional Secretary of the NDC, uh, joining us on the line. Now, very interesting story that he, he's told. This is what has happened. It's not, uh, okay, I'm a journalist. Sometimes when you say story, people think that then it is imagination from your mind. When a journalist says story, it means that what has happened, that we've recorded. So they tell us this. Uh, and if you just heard him, Simple matter. One gentleman turns up one day, finds some two people, and says that I will help you get some money for so to do some business or for your family or whatever it is. Uh, and in order for you to help me help you, uh, give me a, go and take this the ID cards of those who are interested. Voters ID card. Obi am funny voters ID card. And of course, these two people went around, convinced the, as many people as they can find, took their voters ID cards to this gentleman, and he's kept it in his position all this while. Now, this story that I am telling, some of you know, listening to me, there are many people who know, Minya, you know very well, that you've given your voter ID card to some man B, who says he's trying to get you some loan from some rural bank or a UNDP or some agency which you, you have given your voter ID card to the man. Up till now, You've not seen your voter ID card. You see, we have been following him, and he, was, he is still not releasing. He says he's still going through the process. Nowhere in this world does somebody need to keep your ID card as evidence of the fact that people need money.
do not give your card away. What they will do to you is that they will